star Kyle Busch wins 50th Snowball Derby late model race. Kyle Busch passed Jeff Shuket with 15 laps to go to win his second Snowball Derby late model race. Photo by Matt Weaver Kyle Busch returned to his short track routes over the weekend and won arguably the biggest race in the recent history of super late model competition in the 50th annual Snowball Derby. The race featured NASCAR notables Corey Lajoie, Harrison Burton, Mason Mingus, Ty Mieski, and Noah Gregson. And yet, the fight came down to Bush vs. two late model lifers, Bubba Pollard and Jeff Shaquette. The 2015 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion spent much of the afternoon watching Pollard and Shaquette duel in front of him. But a caution with 80 laps to go changed the complexion of the entire race. La Joie broke a track Barheim joint and Cole Rouse hit the wall. The leaders had all come down pit road 50 laps prior and there were no takers. Thus, Chiquette and Pollard maintained the front row on the restarts and pulled away from Bush. In fact, Bush was under fire from Harrison Burton. But Bush began to match the leaders' lap times, reeled them in, passed Pollard on lap 278 and took the lead from Chiquette on lap 285. He checked out. I didn't think we had it there for about 280 laps, and then that final 20 she came to life, Bush said after the race. I just tried to persevere, save and work my way to those guys and finally be able to get my way around them. I wasn't sure once I got there I'd have enough to be able to get by them, but they just kind of kept falling off and I just plateaued and kind of stayed. Meanwhile, Chiquette and Pollard combined to lead 221 laps but were forced to watch Bush hoist the Tom Dawson Memorial Trophy in Victory Lane. For his part, Pollard said he was too loose on the older tires, expecting another caution with around 50 laps to go to bolt on his final set. We didn't in number 39, T have the best car right there when it mattered, Pollard said. We were just too free. We freed up because we knew the track would get tighter and freed it up too much, getting ready for the last set, and we never got the last set. Bush dealt with the same scenario, but simply outdrove Pollard and Chiquette. I didn't think there was going to be 66 green flag laps, especially with some of those guys who took tires, Bush said. I figured there was going to be some guys get into guys, but that didn't happen. Once I got up there, to Chiquette and Pollard, I knew I had enough to get by them. And he did. He also survived the Room of Doom, officially claiming his second Tom Dawson trophy in technical inspection. He also won the race in 2009. Burton held on to fourth over Canadian racer Cassius Clark. The complete results can be found below. By Matt Weaver. Racing, NASCAR.